guys, I thought I would do a little chit chat video, kind of a update to those of you who have been following me for some time and then a get to know me of sorts for those of you that are new to the channel. But of course, as soon as I cut the camera on, Lola Pug is coming over here to make all kind of noise. She was not, and I quote, she was not worried about drinking any water until I cut on the camera. Y'all, it's always something with these kids. So if you can hear her taking gulps of water, my apologies. Nonetheless, I'm going to work on making my coupon booklets. Um, and I figure at this time, I'll go ahead and chit chat with you guys. So if it's a little bit distracting with me kind of fidgeting around with these coupons and moving, my apologies. But sometimes I just kind of multitask to get things done around here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of hit on some, I guess, key topics or whatever. And then I'll throw in some clips as well as I'm talking about certain things. I wanted to also share with you guys how the birthday party came out for my daughter that we did um, now over a month ago. I know, shame on me. I did share pictures in real time on Instagram. Um, I think on Facebook too. Anyways, I've been meaning to just do like a little video that way I can add in all those clips and share that with you guys. So, let's start from the beginning. Who am I? Well, if you are new here, my name is Michelle. I am a small town country girl is what I say, who lives in the big city. I am originally from Louisiana, moved to Houston back in 05 after Hurricane Rita. She pretty much evicted me and therefore I moved to Houston and have not looked back since then. I am married with four kiddos, two boys, two girls, and the fur baby. Now, my, um, my husband is currently working full-time outside of the house, and I work full-time inside the house, pretty much. I started a home daycare business um, back in 2011 when we first purchased our house. I had just had my last kid, which is my youngest son, Mason. He's now eight. So we started the daycare so that I can stay home with him, but also still earn income because, well, just being a stay-at-home mom and not earning income was not an option at that time. So the birth of the daycare happened. Daycare has been an absolute blessing to our family. Not only was it a way for me to uh, make an income and still be home with my kids, but it gave me the opportunity to just bless others as well with quality care, um, safe, clean place for people to bring their kids, but also very affordable as well. My prices have never been outrageous as it is in the larger daycare centers. So I know that's one thing that um, pretty much all of my clients that have come through my door appreciate. So nonetheless, I am still licensed by the state to operate a home daycare. I currently do not have any little kids during the middle of the day. I only have school age kids. They come in the morning, early morning, they pretty much lay down, TV will be on, but they'll fall back to sleep, get up, grab a quick little snack before, um, before getting on the school bus in the morning and get them on the bus and then they're gone all day. They come back in the afternoon with my kids, some days, not every day. And then they're here for about an hour or so before their parents pick them up and then they're gone. So that's pretty much it when it comes to daycare at this point. Now, my schedule with daycare, or I should say the, the, the changes with the daycare business change at the top of the school year this year. It's just the demands of my own kids with my oldest daughter. She's in dance. She's in track. My youngest daughter's in choir, she's in um, dance as well, and then she has sports and stuff, and that's all over the weekend. Anyways, just the way my family dynamic is now, and then my oldest son is um, in college, I just can't commit to keeping anyone's child during the middle of the day without having to tote those kids back and forth with me. And that's just not something I'm comfortable with, with transporting anybody else's kids um, in a vehicle, so on and so forth. So nonetheless, no little kids during the day, only school age kids. And thank God we have, we are in the position financially where 
that works because obviously the income that I was making on a full-time scale with the daycare, I am not making nearly close to that at all with just having the school age kids and it's just a, a handful of kids. So anyway, so that being said, now outside of the daycare business, I also run a bookkeeping service. So I do bookkeeping for other small business owners. I have quite a few daycare owners in the area that I have um, become friends with, sort of networking with, and then eventually they became a client of the bookkeeping business. So I do that as well. And then in addition to that, I do my bookkeeping business also in, um, entails tax preparation. So I will either do the taxes for the client if they want me to. If not, I will get everything ready for them to send off to whoever it is that does their taxes. So yeah, I I, I keep busy, to say the least. I, yeah, I keep quite busy around here. Now, in addition to that, on a part-time level, I do fill in for a formal client that I had for daycare. Um, her husband started a truck company, um, tr truck company where he does like truck runs and he has other people working for him. So I do dispatch for them every so often. Whenever the wife isn't able to do so and they need um, another person to step in, then I will do that. The good thing about that is that I can work from home and you know pretty much be at my desk and not have to um, to go anywhere to do that. It's just a matter of having the phone and the software system and that's pretty much it. So that is how I am currently providing income from my household and so on. And then outside of that, of course, YouTube. YouTube within itself is a job. No matter what type of YouTuber you are, if you are a coupony um, content creator, a vlogger, um, just a regular lifestyle channel, whatever it might be, YouTube is definitely a job within itself. Now let's talk about YouTube for a second. For me personally, when I started my YouTube channel, I did not start it out with the intentions of being a couponing channel. And I honestly don't think of myself as a couponing channel. Couponing is, plays a huge role in my day-to-day -day life and how we um, purchase goods and so on and so forth, but it's not everything. So I, I really, I guess I kind of consider my channel more of a lifestyle channel. And really what I share is just what's pretty much, um, for lack of a better way to put it, what may just be dominating my life at that moment, if that makes sense. Right now, I've been hustling coupons like a mad person because I've been flipping product to make additional income and so on, especially with the holidays coming up and there's different things that we want to do financially. It has given me a way to make some in, um, extra income um, in order to do a few extra things, so on and so forth. But anyways, with YouTube, I never started my channel out with the intentions of being a couponing channel. And I don't think of my channel as a couponing channel. I think of it more as a lifestyle channel. Now, for those of you that are new, I do other content, meal planning, daily vlogs, day to life vlogs, family vlogs, things like that. Um, my health journey with keto, I started keto last year. I am still keto strong. I have my days where I cheat, but I'm still keto strong. Um, and then, you know, finances is one of the things that I'm passionate about. So I do share budget with me and all that kind of stuff. It's just as of late, as of late, my schedule has just been so off balance. I legit have no time for anything extra. That's it. But for those of you that are new here, Please hear me out. When I start uploading other type of content outside of couponing, don't run away. Don't be like, what is this about? Watch the videos. You might, you might like them. You might like them. But I, I do plan to get back into some sort of routine where I can bring back those videos that, um, that I want to share. The financial stuff, the budgeting, and all of that stuff there. Bring it back on a regular basis. Just right now, schedule is just haywire. And the one thing that I'm doing that I know can also benefit a lot of you is couponing and sharing how I coupon and how I manage to save money for my family and so on and so forth. I know sharing that information is definitely beneficial as well. So that's just where the focus has been for me over these past couple months with the YouTube channel. But I do intend on bringing back all the other content as time and schedule would allow. 
Let me just tell you guys, I thought honestly when I decided not to have any more daycare kids during the middle of the day and I was just going to have the before and after school kids that where I can, you know, focus on my own family, so on and so forth. She just thought she was going to have all this free time. She lied to herself. She lied to herself. She has no free time. She barely making it day by day. Day by day, she keeps saying to herself she needs to find a personal assistant. Like, seriously. And a nanny. And so on and so on. Y'all know what I always say. I need a sister wife, too. Anyways. Yeah. Time sits still for no one. And it, it is what it is. So, anyways. That is that with the YouTube channel. Now, getting into family life. So, again, four kids, two boys, two girls. My oldest son graduated in May. He's um, attending a community college now. He's still working. So, yeah, that is, that, that's up and down, down and up. The oldest daughter is in dance, so that means I'm in dance. She's in track, so that means I'm in track. She's, um, I think I'm going to probably clip some of these. I mean, re-separate them. Um... Yeah, she's in the 10th grade, and so it's, I'm running like a chick with my head cut off. Also with her, she no longer qualified to ride the free school bus to school or home since the oldest son graduated. Long story short, they built a new high school a couple years ago, maybe, maybe three years now, maybe two, maybe three, I don't know. Um, but when she went into the ninth grade, my oldest son went into the 12th grade. So she was grandfathered in to the school that he attends, which is right there up the street. Long story short, come the new school year because he graduated out, she no longer qualified um, to ride the bus, blah, blah, blah. And then I figured out, well, found out that her and my son were the only two kids from this neighborhood that were um, riding the school bus to the school up here. They were the only ones that were grandfathered, well, not the only ones, all the seniors were grandfathered in. So she was like the only freshman, I guess, that was, you know, riding the bus since she was grandfather and since my son was going there. I said all that to say this. She ain't got no ride to school no more. So that means either me or the hubby got to bring her to school every morning. Every morning. And I got to pick her up every day. Every day. Y'all might be like, Michelle, it's no big deal. People been doing that for years. I haven't. I haven't. I have always depended on the free transportation from the yellow school bus. So the fact that I got to get out the bed most mornings and drop her to school hurts my feelings. For the fact that I got to cut my afternoon short with my little coupon and runs or whatever it is I'm trying to do to go and get her from school hurts my feelings. Especially to the fact that every day is not the same as far as what time she actually gets out of school since she has, you know, track practice and dance practice and all those things. So anyways, long story short, this mom... It's just now in the season of life where she's running like a chicken with her head cut off, to say the least. So, anyways, moving on. Now, we did a sweet 16th birthday party for her for her birthday in October. So, I'm going to throw in a few clips to show you guys how all of that turned out. I have not, not one creative bone in my body when it comes to decorating or anything. But I think it came out really, really nice. Me and the youngest daughter pretty much put everything together. My neighbor also helped me out. And another girlfriend came and helped me out to put everything up. All the um, coverings that we did in the, um, the daycare and so on. So it turned out really, really, really nice. And I was super excited about it. I think I was probably more excited than my daughter was, to tell you the truth. Now, what we ended up doing is I had all of that stuff set up. In the daycare space, which is actually our garage that we converted to a daycare. And I had all the couponing overflow stuff that was in there that were, you know, stuff that was meant to be sold. So I did a flash garage sale, posted it a couple days before, and had people, you know, pulled everything out in the yard and had people come and shop and all that stuff there. To get rid of as much stuff as I could, that way I didn't have to pack everything up and try to move everything out. So that turned out pretty sweet. They gave me the extra little money to do a little extra more for the party and all that stuff there. So that was a plus. Now we covered everything up in the daycare because obviously I didn't want it to be ABC, one, two, three, and all that stuff for the party. You know, you want it to be all cute and stuff. So all that was done. And again, I'm, I'm really proud of myself. I think it came out really, really nice. The only downfall is 
Now her friends think she's having a party every year, and that is not so. That was a milestone birthday party. That's why she got one. And then the youngest daughter is talking about, for my birthday, what we doing? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. That was a milestone birthday. But now when I think about it, my youngest daughter will be turning 13, so it'll be her first year going into her teen years. So I guess we're going to do something fabulous, but I don't think I'm going to do all what I did for the 16-year-old. I'm really more so banking on like renting out a little hotel room and inviting the youngest daughters, um, some of her, you know, favorite friends or best friends and my nieces and just kind of, you know, doing like a girls weekend type situation. So we'll see how that plays out come that time. I got till next year to figure that out. So anyways, that is that. Again, guys, nothing much. Just want to quickly just kind of chit chat, update you guys um, as to, you know, what's going on around here, where I'm at. Who I am for those of you that are new, um, the channel direction. At this point, I'm still couponing, so I'll still continue to share couponing related content. That would never change. Um, but again, I may end up adding back in a lot of the other content that um, I have shared before. Just time, you know, just doesn't allow for all the things at this time. It's just honestly, like when it comes to just household work and cleaning and cooking y'all everything is done on the fly like i'm not even alive it went for my slow cooker I, my kids wouldn't eat most nights they'd be eating cereal or noodles every night i throw something in the slow cooker early in the morning and i'm going on about my business for the rest of the day because even though i'm home i don't have time to be standing over nobody's stove trying to cook nothing no not me not this chick not at all so anyways um again just wanted to quickly hop on and chit chat let's not make this too long michelle so i'm gonna stop running my mouth finish off my coupons here and I will definitely, um, I will definitely come back and do a um, some more in-depth videos on reselling and all that stuff. There, you guys ask questions about that in the recent live video, so I will get that done um, and start getting those videos up for you guys and just keep them, you know, as different questions pop up or different issues or whatever come up around reselling and so on. I'll make a video on it and share that with you guys. So, with that being said, thanks so very much for watching. For all of you that are new here, I do appreciate each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel. Just know that I do not ignore you guys. I try my very, very best to give you all the information and details I can when sharing any coupony um, deals and so on. And I do a very good job, I know I do, with getting in the comments and breaking stuff down or answering your comments or whatever the case might be. If you ever have a question and you just seem to not be able to get a hold of me through YouTube, Instagram is always the easiest for me. I have my phone with me all day, every day, of course. Um, so it's just easier for me to answer a Instagram DM than it is an email or even Facebook for me. But with the comments, I do my very best to get in the comment section, um, section and chat with you guys and answer your questions and all that stuff there. So... With well, that being said, thanks so very much, guys. And again, be sure to like the video, share the channel, so that way you continue to help other people save and learn how to master the skill called couponing. Um, and you help me out in the process. So, with all that being said, thanks so very much. Until next time, guys. Bye.